I used to have a now every Thursday night we used to have a session at my place. Okay. We call it like a talent search. You understand me? And that talent search, everybody from over out of the world, from Jamaica, from the Negril to Montego Bay, all about okay. come there on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Every artist actually used to be there. And that goes on for about, that goes on way up to, I would say about the 90s, early 90s. Okay, that, so this was like over 20 years that was... Yeah, that man, that is where, that is, I mean, listen, Edley Avenue was the place, you know, where when you hear them talk about Osa Leon, one second, one second, because I'm trying to find you. Osa Leo and Tropic and all these places come after Black Scorpio. Yeah. Black Scorpio, HQ, was the place on a Thursday night where people from all over the world used to come. Okay. Yeah, whenever people want to have fun. Just like we you have a wedding wedding on a Wednesday night. No, Black Scorpio, HQ was the place. I but Stolo, Stolo used to live around the corner, around my place. Well, enough people don't know, say, yeah. the time named Purple Love live just around the corner from me. He used to be there, he know the whole thing. And this and is Weepo you're talking about? Yeah, man, Weepo, man, then the Weepo. Most of Weepo, we turn on my student to them, you know, but I wouldn't bother go there, so yet. <laughs> but that is too, that is that history again. But no people don't know all themselves about. Weepo, oh, yeah, man, yeah, man. Weepo and me, Weepo is living in a Jusan, right around <coughs> Sandalene there. Yeah. And, um, my place was the place mm -hmm. when you want you come from New York or Canada or America, or anyway, in those days. Any time in the 80s was that level, everybody trying to come there on a Thursday night. The road black. Yeah. Within those times, it's just like when the police them are looking for a bad man, you know. The, for my place, you run big before all skate land. So you must know. Okay. If you, if you go into history, Edley Avenue was the place before all skate land. If man, if if when in a, when bigger phone and Leng and um Trinity are young police, mm -hmm. and my place then come for come look for bad man right. <laughs> on <a> Thursday night. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah man, you know this late down the seventies, eighties. It it was just Black Scorpio, HQ, yeah. what really was the, the place when, you know, every artist, mm -hmm. enough of the artists them to the, what make a good name. We're not talking about the younger generation. We're talking about even the bean man, even the front of my little baby. Okay. You know, the Shabba Rankin, the Yellow Man, the Brigadier Jerry, I mean, you know, name them, all of them, Black Scarpe is a place where most of them come come make a name. Yeah. You know what I mean? People like, I mean, even Bounty Killer, the whole of them, everybody. That's you how serious it was. Yeah, that's the place. Yeah, the, you know, I mean, if you if, if I go into the history and you find a real history of my place, my place is a foundation of dance hall. I can tell you that. I mean, I, we, 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 people can tell you, say, Black Scorpio HQ was where this emerge of dance hall thing. I mean, we're not talking about the production now, like we're not, we're not going to making a music. We're talking about busing artists and artists want to make a name. Yeah. Buju Bantan tell me, say, my place, and me make it, and me make him know say, him an artist. Him tell me that to the one mouth. Buju Bantan. Wow. Sometimes me, when me, me, me said this thing, I know me said it, him said to me, him come around my place one night to come DJ when in my youth. As a little boy, I come from school. And when him come around in the night, find out those days, you know, when you, when you DJ, either you win. Normally, we might give them some beer, or we might give them a token. Or, but them time, we never used to produce. We just, I deal with entertainment, and you get a bus and, 
We never, we never used to produce neither. You weren't producing. You weren't producing. No, yeah. no. I've just, just highlight young artists. Mm -hmm. But it turned out that him come the night and him DJ. So when you DJ, you get percentage. So I was there beside him with a next guy who I work with named Color Chain, a great beard youth. Yep, no so Color Chain now give him 20%. Uh, he might tell me this, I wouldn't remember if he never <laughs> said to me. And he says, if no superman says, Scorpio, you see a look for me good and just take the mic from Color Chain and say, no man, that you that deserve more than 20%, man. Why? Why? I mean, say, you know what? Um, I put 50 pallet and give him 17. Says, Carp, I made it well big, so I just get to know my artist. <laughs> no, Bojo, man, Bojo, respect me and honor me. And he might tell me this fight because what? One day I do some dub for me and my shoulder down there, so. Down there. Mm -hmm. With my shoulder. I mean, I'm going to see my vice, vice, and me like, me like, me like, me like, me like, which one are you me against Carp, you I mean, I said, the real rock, and he must fight both four truth. So, so. When when the man go down, he said, he said to him, he said, hey, Bucho, can't pay your boss. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so Bucho just turn around and look for me and say, Scorpio, I need to pay you. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Respect. Yo, that you, the, the man, I want to tell you some Japanese in my world final. Mm -hmm. Did you know some of them done work and do about 10 dub plate for me? And still turn on and give me five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw him go tell me, you know, you know, the history of what take place in him says, Scorpio, let me tell you this what you don't know. Me, I tell you as a, as a man. I mean, I lick lick a boy. Yeah. I don't come at your place, Scorpio. And call that thing, give me twenty percent and him don't look when we talk. Scorpio, you as a boss. <laughs> <laughs> You as a ball, take the mic and say, No, nah, man, that you that deserve more than 20, man. Me, I put 50 pounds and give him say, Make sure. He said, It's following, man, him go a chancellor and go buy him first tune for him. For, for, for Riley. For What's this thing, if you know, say, I'm an um, 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 artist. I Fango. think that might have been stamina, daddy. He might have always said, Yeah, that. Not, not, yeah, about them time there, we go buy for um, Winston Riley, as he said. Techniques? Yeah, techniques. techniques it, might, it might have been stamina, daddy. Yes. Yeah, well, all them sang them one, but anyway, uh, it, no. We listen. I don't mean saying that. Would you tell me this? I'm la. Because you see, in 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 Early Avenue, it's supposed to elevate youths. Mm -hmm. It's not just. We never want to turn on no youth to have a chance. If a youth not sound good, we might say, "Come back next week. Try again. Yeah. Keep in the vibe." And the same thing with my father. My father tell me the same thing too. He said, I used to come around here and him come. Boy, sometimes I'm going to kill him. In my shop, he might get all a bull or a piece of thing from my wife then. And then we we'll just give him something. And I mean, you, you, you know, which one used to live there? Anthony B. For, uh, yes, man. That's a, hey, most Anthony B. eating a star chill. You used to rent my studio every Tuesday, you know. And okay. Stone Love rent it every Wednesday. So most of them Stone Love eat there, all of me real rock it there. I would have my studio them make them there, eat there, you know, Stone Love eats them. You know. Them Sanchez over here, you know, where Stone Love are playing for them sound and them big tune there, for yeah. the real rock. Out of Black Scarpia studio them come from. They didn't know that boss. So you <laughs> had the studio before they got their studio? Yes, man. Long before them, man. The young man who was studio A at Tubby's and Jammies. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.